What's going on there, guys? It's your boy Chris, and at the long, at the end of a long day, all I want to do sometimes is sit down, put on some Daisy or some Warzy, and just zone out on my couch for a little while. Funny thing is, I've never even played Daisy or Warzy, but I love watching the shit. So, if you're in the if you're into Warzy. Enjoy tonight's feature presentation by my boy Savage. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Give my boy some love. I believe in him. Peace out. What is going on, guys? It's your friend Savage back with my next video and I'm bringing something kinda cool to you guys today that I just heard about yesterday we're gonna be trying out the uh, War Z emulator actually someone posted it on my channel um, big shout out to gaming with Don for setting me up on this and uh, I just wanted to let you guys see what it's all about and whether it's really worth all the time to sign up and um, get the game prepared to play. So let's take a look at this. Uh, right here uh, we have the character screen which is quite different from the normal War Z where you have to pay money to unlock the characters in order to use them in the game. Now on this emulator you have five characters already unlocked that you can just use. That's awesome. That's completely awesome. I'm really digging that. That's that's really sweet. You shouldn't have to pay real hard-earned money in order to use these characters like this. And uh, I'm actually going to set up um, all five of my character slots with different characters because I'd like to try them all out. I really wanted to try the X Cage Fighter out on the original game. However, when I tried to sign up and pay five dollars for the GC to buy the character, it uh, it gave me a big middle finger and told me to screw off pretty much so <clears throat> it's pretty cool I'm actually gonna be able to use these characters and not have to pay real money that I work pretty hard for uh, <laughs> we're gonna set up Brad the bastard right here cause I'm a fucking bastard and he looks like a bastard too look at his sunglasses on he's got the real hardcore douchebag look to him and uh, let's set this one up as motherfucking savage we're gonna use the Rebel without a cause again. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the old Mexican look or 80s look, something like that. He just looks like a trashy hobo guy in this. <laughs> um, but I just I'm I'm pretty excited to check this out right now. I uh, this initial screen right here is giving me hope that this is gonna be pretty cool. And we're gonna see how the spawns are and what's different about it if the graphics are different if the game runs any differently cuz I don't know I mean this is the first time I've loaded this up this is it right here um, on a side note I have 35 subscribers now as of one month of being on YouTube so now I have my 35th subscriber and it's going really good so big shout out to everybody you guys are pretty fucking awesome and we're going to take a look at the marketplace here, see what they added in there. Uh, Jesus, 55400 for uh, mags. A hatchet, uh, that's pretty sweet. And have that in the uh, regular game. And a crowbar for 100 bucks. I could buy that. Let's see, look at the masks here. It looks generally the same somewhat, but I have 4260 GC to spend which is really cool because I'm going to actually spend some of that and check this stuff out. That's a lot for some sights. Rifle flashlight for $75,000. Good luck collecting that. You'll be 96 years old by the time you collect that shit. I actually don't need this stuff, so I'm just going to put that away because I don't need a shitty granola bar and an even shittier flashlight. I think the flashlight's even more useless than a damn granola bar is. At least a granola bar... Restores your sprint in the game. A flashlight is terrible. Gives your position away, and then it, you can't even kill a player with it hardly. Even though that's contradicted by my Brad the Bastard episodes. <laughs> so, um, 
That looks really cool. That's a way better looking loading screen than the original game. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and fast forward here and check this out. Uh, so I'm in the lodge here at Frosty Pines. I actually found a 9mm Jericho so far. And I found a SIG P226 handgun, a rare handgun, right off the bat. And a Mossberg. So I just want to show you guys something crazy that I found right here. And you're going to notice this. I mean, you can't miss it. This is insane. I was, I literally crapped my pants when I saw this. And just running along here. Another Mossberg on the ground. Weapon spawns are very, very often on this game. That's really cool. I like that. But check this out. Yes, sir. What is that right there? What is that right there? That's, that's a scar. CQC. You can't even find that shit in the regular game. And military rock. I, I was crapping my pants at this point. I'm just struggling to pick all this stuff up. I was like, I gotta get this stuff. And a sniper rifle. I've never had a sniper rifle on this game yet. I got one now. On this emulator. Guess what, guys? You guys gotta get on this emulator. The spawns are way better. They actually spawn weapons randomly around the place. It's, it's much better. The spawns are way better. And the graphics and everything is pretty much the same. And it runs exactly the same. It's no different of a game. It's just got better spawns and everything on it. So, I would take the time to check this out. Probably take you 30, 45 minutes to get set up on it. But look at this. Look at these guns I'm finding. You're actually going to be able to kill some zombies. And not have to run around a map for 45 minutes to an hour to find... A crappy Kruger Mini 14 every time you play the game. I mean, Jesus. If I find one more Kruger Mini 14, I'm going to bash my head against this wall for real. Like, this is. Wow, that looks sweet. You can hold your breath with a sniper rifle, too. I didn't even know that. Because I've never used one. But I have one on the emulator, and you guys should check it out. Um, you have to actually get someone to get an account for you. What you earn through game time by playing it. Hmm. Hmm. I got some. I got some spaghetti. Oh yeah. That's good. But make sure you guys check it out. Um. Once again, another shout out to Gaming with Don for setting me up on this because it's really awesome. This game is definitely savage approved. I gotta say, all you guys on Team Savage, go check this shit out for real. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for Jesus Christ. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Comment. Like, subscribe. Do Y'all, you know the deal. Click on the middle of the screen. Go watch the last video. Peace out.